Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of Cloud Deep Dive. In today's video, we will talk about a new feature launched under AWS SSO permission sets. So what is permission set? Permission set is basically a group of policies and it helps you to simplify the assignment of AWS account access for the users and groups. So if we go and try to create a permission set, till now you had two options like predefined permission sets where there are some AWS managed policies are already created which you can use it or you can use custom permission set and under per custom permission set you had options like you can choose from AWS managed policies or you can create your own inline policy so these are the only two options you had till now and now AWS has added two more options one is customer managed policies and another is a permission boundaries so let's first talk about what kind of challenges organizations were facing and why AWS has to come with a customer managed policy. So suppose you need to create a permission set where you want to add your own policy. So the only options you had if you need your custom policy was to create an inline policy and which has certain limits on its own uh, or you have to use the AWS managed policy. Another challenge was Suppose you would need to create a policy which you need to use in multiple permission sets. So you have to create a template and then you have to put that JSON file or JSON policy in each of these permission sets. So suppose you have 10 different permission set defined, then you have to add that policy or that code to all those permission sets. And in case you need to make any change to it, then you have to go to the each permission set and change those inline policy. So it was very hard to maintain and uh, keep track of those things. But with the add of customer managed policy, now what you can do that you can attach your IAM policies which you have created in your IAM. So if I go to IAM, and you go to your policies, so here you have two types of so one is customer managed policy, one is AWS managed policy. So till now you were able to only add AWS managed policy by going to your AWS managed policy, but now you can pick up the name from, uh, suppose I want to assign this uh, KMS list policy to this uh, permission set, so I can pick up that name and add it here, attach it. So like that you can add up to 10 different customer managed policy. So the benefit of it, like suppose you need to use the same policy in different permission sets, you can do that. And if you need to make any changes, so you just need to go to the IAM, make the change there and you're done. You don't need to go to the different permission set. So maintaining uh, a policy will be easy and you can audit it. It will be a central place from where you are making the changes. Second options which they have added is the permission boundary. So what is permission boundary? Permission boundary is again kind of a group of policies which define a uh, or which helps you to control the what the maximum permissions a user can have. So suppose a user is a, a part of a group where he got certain he or she got certain privilege based on the group policy, but you want to restrict that user to have uh, have only certain access. So you can add a permission boundary to that user and the user will have only those limited access in regard to whatever the other policies is added to it. So similarly here, you can add the permission boundary. You can set a permission boundary. Again, you have option, you can use AWS managed policy or you can use customer managed policy where you can add your own uh, policy name like we did earlier. So these are the two new features. I thought of like quickly we'll go through it and give you an idea that how it work and what are the these two new feature so hope you learned something new enjoyed it and got to know that what is the new feature launch and why it was launched and how customers can use it uh, if you like the video please hit the like button share it with your friends and uh, subscribe to my channel i will be adding more aws related videos in future thank you so much